Yo guys, what's going on, Robert Warshak here, and we finally have the announcement, not of the announcement, of the new Hearthstone mini set. Uh, it's going to be coming out February 15th, so next Tuesday. Uh, this is very, very soon. As always, it's going to have 35 new cards. I'm assuming you're going to be able to spend your 2,000 gold and be able to purchase this. It is taking place in... Anixia's Lair, for those of you unfamiliar with any sort of World of Warcraft lore, uh, Anixia's Lair is home to, obviously, Anixia, which is a huge dragon in this mini set. I'm assuming we're going to see some whelps. This is a uh, a cave that has many of whelps, many whelps, many, many whelps. <laughs> we have Anixia, of course, and we also have a decent amount of dragonkin in there. Um, unfortunately, this isn't like a really long raid. This is normally like a very short 20, 25 minute raid if your group's pretty good. And it really just has when you walk in there, you kill some dragonkin. Not that many pulls of them. And then Anixia is right there in the boss fight encounters uh, involves killing Anixia. She has a couple different stages. And then upon one of the, upon one of the stages, um, a shit ton of freaking whelps come out. So I don't know exactly what we're going to see in regards to heroes and stuff. Because uh, a um, Alterac Valley had like a ton of different features to it. Whether it be the, the big ice boss, the two different base, you have Alliance and Horde competing off. Uh, against each other but with this anixia raid it's a lot a lot smaller which kind of makes sense for a mini set like you don't need that many cards um, but i definitely expect that we're going to see a decent amount of dragons uh, whether or not those dragons are going to be like i don't think we're gonna see like Deathwing and stuff but i definitely can see a lot of smaller dragons being introduced to the picture also, maybe some treasures, because obviously dragons love treasure. So we could see some new sort of weapon treasures or something like that, uh, which would be pretty interesting. Maybe a couple new neutral legendary weapons. As for cards, there's currently no cards they released just yet, but with only a couple days to go until it's released, uh, as the cards start rolling out, I'll take a look and review some of the better looking ones. Hopefully there is not pack fillers in here, given there's only 35 cards. So hopefully I review more cards than not uh but yeah that's what we have so far finally the announcement of not the announcement and uh this is hopefully going to spice up the meta at least a little bit until we get to that standard rotation which comes with the first expansion every year which should be about two months after this uh drops maybe a month and a half right um and if you're wondering what the rotation is and how it's going to change the meta hopefully uh, in a pretty good way. I do have a video where I cover all of the expansions that are leaving, the cards within the expansion leaving, and there's a lot of stuff going. Like, almost every OTK deck and almost every meta deck that we see right now in the game is going to be either obsolete or 70% of the cards have been, like, shaved off of it, right? Um, so that video is definitely a good watch if you're wondering what to expect once the rotation happens, which, again, won't happen after the mini set. It'll happen after the first expansion every year, which is about a month and a half, two months after the mini set re releases. So with that, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next episode, hopefully doing some card reviews, and I will see you guys then. As always, I'm Warshak, and happy whatever the hell date is.